let's see. All right, guys. So I think I'm gonna leave my hair like this. So then, poquito like off on top, but from the top, look, guys. Ooh! Nice, huh? Bueno, ya se le están cayendo los chinos. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it as is. Just gonna give it a little volume here and there. Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the world of airbrush makeup. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe and also like a comment. And yeah guys, let's get started. So first things first guys, I am gonna go in with a couple of drops of eye drops. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my Tem2 base primer. So I'm just gonna add just a dab of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and Add that right here and a little bit on my forehead and bring it out. For my eye primer, I am going to go in with my Milani. So I'm just going to add just a dab here and there. And yes, I like to prep my eyes and face when I'm airbrushing. So usually when my baby naps is the time where I sit down, either relax or record. So today I decided to sit down really quick and record something for you guys. Um, I was going to do a colorful look. I don't know if I'm going to do a colorful look or should I do just a simple natural look. I'm not sure. What should I do? What should I do? Hmm. You know what guys, maybe for next time I will do a colorful look. I did one this week and that was for TikTok. Yes, sorry guys. Um, I will leave also my link down below for Instagram and TikTok. Go watch that if you guys want to see a colorful look. But today I'm going to do something different. So today I'm going to do something different and for the next video I promise you guys I will do a colorful look. So let's jump right in. So starting off, I am going to be using two companies. I'm going to be using Dynair and Tantu. I do have a link and code for you guys. So I will be leaving all the colors that I will be using down below on my description. Anything helps. And thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Guys, I am going to be using my Pro Compressor. And I like to leave it at 12 o'clock. And for the gun, I am using a CX. Okay, so let's jump right in. And as always, I always love to start off with my brows. So I am going to be using the color Underground. And I'm going to be using just three drops of that. So I'm going to go in. Let me guys get a new color spray of tissue. Make, making sure that color is coming out properly. It is. And then whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And there you go guys brows are done so I'm gonna add a little bit of NYX brow mascara I'm just gonna add a little bit right here just to give them a little lift there you go moving on to my eyes I am gonna start off with vanilla and I'm just gonna be placing that right in my brow bone or the highlights Just like that. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab Golden Olive. I'm just going to place that right above my transition shade. Okay. Like that. For my transition shade, I am going to be using a nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and Layer that up, not a lot, just a little bit. Just like that. And then on top of the nutmeg, I am going to go in with found brown. There you go. Pretty much did a light pass. And 
for my eyelids, I am going to be using two different colors. I'm going to go in with Iceland Sands, then Tahini Dust. I'm going to do equal ratio. So I'm just going to add that all the way. Actually, I'm going to add it to the whole eyelid. And a little bit more in the inner corner for a little pop. Just like that. Same thing to the other eye. And whatever's left, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the bottom of my eyelid. Just like that. Let me just scroll this. Just like so. So moving on to the outer V of my eye, I'm going to be doing two colors as well. I'm going to be doing equal parts of Found Brown and Marcella. I'm going to go ahead and spray. And I like to take my time while doing this. Because remember guys, once you mess up, you mess up. Sometimes you can fix it and sometimes you guys can't. I'm going to go ahead and drag just a little bit more in. And then darken out that outer V. And drag it a little bit in. So I'm going to do that to the other side and then go back and forth just to see if I need to add a little bit more or just stopping there. And then whatever's left, I'm going to go ahead and drag that color on the bottom of my eye as well. Just like that so I think I'm gonna stop there and whatever's left guys I'm gonna go ahead and add jet black oops that color went on the bottom of my nail so if you guys see this finger dirty it is actually the jet black with the brown mixture so I'm gonna go ahead and darken that outer V just a bit not a lot If you feel like it's not coming out, spray the tissue. Okay, so there it is guys. There's one side and this is without and with. Same thing to the bottom of my eye. Okay. So I'm going to stop right there. So moving on to my eyeliner, I'm going to take that jet black again and add a couple of drops of just pure jet black to create my eyeliner. Always bring the tissue and I think I'm going to do a freehand. Oh, let's see. Let me get close up. I'm just building my liner. There you go. Right there. So, same thing to the other side. more 
just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and pop this right in my waterline makes a huge difference just like that so moving on to my lashes I am gonna be using these and these are by Villalon lashes so you guys can find them on Instagram I will be leaving the link down below so this is with one lash and this is without one major difference oh my god guys what a major difference with and without so both lashes are on Villalon if you're watching this thank you so much love the lashes last time I did use this and these I use for a very glam, bulky, colorful look, which I really, really love. But these, woo, these are beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean my airbrush really, really good. So I'm putting this away. So moving on to foundation, bronze, blush, and highlight. I am gonna be using my Temp2, and this is the 2.0 with my SB40. So for foundation, I am going to be using my Temp2 Perfect Canvas, and this is in the shade 4W. So this is what my face looks like without any foundation. And I am going to be doing a light coverage. Pretty much it's just covering up this redness I have around my cheeks and just a little bit on my nose. So I've never been a concealer girl. I don't know. I, I mean, I just like a light coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray, spray, spray. As you guys see, guys, I did not add any concealer. Just going to make sure I cover up my air shadow. And my brows, of course. I'm going to show you guys what half of my face looks like. So this is what my face looks with foundation and without foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And there you go guys, foundation is done. You guys don't need to set with any setting spray or any setting powder. Okay guys, so I'm going to switch it here and there back and forth, but I am going to be using my Temp2 Gold Air and this is in the shade Matte. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I like to have it on speed 3. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my cheeks. Just like that. A little bit on my forehead, my jaw, a little bit on my nose. So same thing to the other side. Okay. Forehead, jawline, leave it on my nose. Okay, so that is with bronze on both sides. And for blush, I am going to be using Pale Pink. Okay, just like that. So moving on to highlight, I am going to be using again my Temp2 2.0. So I'm going to be using Gold Shimmer and White Shimmer. I'm going to do equal parts. I'm going to go ahead and cover this up, back bubble. Making sure it's mixing properly. Okay, and I always like to spray a tissue. Making sure that the color is coming out properly. So this is without any highlight, guys. Ooh. With highlight and without any highlight. Ooh. My face is glowing. Love it. 
I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on my Cupid's bow. Just like that. Make it on my nose bridge. Okay. And whatever's left, drag it right here. So it's been a long time I haven't done my lips red, so I'm going to go ahead and take this one by Moira, and this is a matte liquid lips, and this is in the shade Brick 26. I'm going to go ahead and add that. And there you go guys, a full face airbrush makeup look. Let me show you guys what my makeup looks from side to side like always. there you go guys it's a wrap thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart it truly means the rule to me every time I see a comment a like and a new subscriber so if you guys are new to my channel welcome to the world of airbrush makeup you guys should feel my excitement Como me siento every time I create a look for you guys like <gasps> there's just no words for this